Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and another Taskmaster Tuesday. Um, and uh, this time it is a Wheel of Fortune. So everything is going to be random. Uh, and the first random thing is uh, my nation. So I'm just going to quickly spin the wheel. UK. Okay. And the second thing I need to decide is what kind of ship I am getting. British heavy cruisers, and I have four of them. Okay, so uh, UK heavy cruiser times four. Now the rest of this is um, also decided by uh, spinning the wheels. Uh, so I'm just going to go and get those set up, and I will be back with you in a moment. Welcome back. Now, uh, you notice I have more options. Uh, that is because I forgot to turn on Unlock All, uh, because we are playing this with Unlock All Hulls. Uh, so, first of all, uh, which hull I get is random. So, let's give that a spin. The Modern Heavy Cruiser 5. Now, that is... This one, it's an, actually an Italian hull. Um, I don't think there are any crossover ones. No, they're not. Uh, and the next thing to decide is maximum displacement. Uh, we are allowed to respin if this is impossible. Ten and a half thousand tons is going to be tricky. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't do it. Um, so, I can re-roll displacement, um, to see if I can get it in, in range. So we can go all the way down to 11, well, just under 12,000, and we can go all the way up to... 20, so somewhere between 12 and 20, so I am allowed to respin this according to the rules. 12,500. Now that is definitely doable, particularly if we have a uh, small beam ship. There we go. Some, somewhere around there. Uh, next is I have a, I believe this is a minimum speed, but Okay, that is not possible, I don't think. Oh, no, it is. Maximum speed. Um, shows what I know. Okay. It's going to be difficult. <laughs> um, main guns are decided for me. Double tens. Okay. Just so I don't forget. And lastly... Secondary armament, if any, none. <laughs> okay. Um, I believe everything else is decided. Oh, no, I, I need to roll for torpedoes as well. So I will set that up and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, welcome back. I've just done some experimental cl clicking about to see what my options are um but uh, torpedoes i need to spin the wheel none <laughs> ah, perfect ah well i've gotten pretty lucky with uh, some of those rolls um now engine efficiency is going to be a big, big big problem um i i could go with, i'm tempted to try and go with gas turbines um they give you the most horsepower engine. Well, not necessarily the most. No, nope, no, it is. The most horsepower per ton. Um, we're still not going to get anywhere near 100% engine efficiency. Uh, not in the slightest. But uh, we can try and get close-ish. Uh, I was hoping the, that there was a double funnel option but there's not so we'll go for a thick three uh, and then I was going to stick a big funnel two and possibly another big funnel two 
No, it's just getting too much. I was just going to go for something like that. Engine efficiency is still terrible. Um, but it's not, you know, nothing. Um, in fact, yeah, no, it does make a, it does make a bit of a difference having that extra funnel. And it doesn't put me over too much on, on spike. See, this is why I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of gas turbines. Like, I, this, this ship on a gas turbine really should only be going 20, 28, 29 knots. Not 48. Uh, my other option was going with diesels, but it was just too expensive. Just much too expensive. Uh, it was expensive and it was, he well, it was heavy, is what I mean. Not expensive. Now, because I'm fighting an enemy battleship and I don't have any torpedo options, I don't have any secondary options either, and I'm limited to 10 inch guns, I'm not sure what the best loadout is going to be. B, but I think... Oh no, I was, I was stuck on 10-inch jewels, wasn't I? <laughs> that is a problem, because 10-inch jewels don't fit on these towers. Uh, or at least not on that one. Would it have... If I go for... I don't know, this puts me overweight, but... I just It's just so I can check. Shove you on the back. Really? Just to see if it does fit on the the big one. It does. Okay, so what's the smallest tower I can get away with? Five? Yeah, the five. Okay. And how narrow can I make the hull to get the five? There. Okay, I'm going to have to reduce displacement. There we go. Okay, because... Yeah, I need I need guns to actually make this work. <laughs> I don't have any other weapon options apart from the ten inch guns. Um, something like that. Gives me an halfway offset, which is pretty bad. But I think trying to bring eight guns is pretty much my only option. Hmm. Is there a smaller rear tower? Yes. I'm thinking I can move that onto there, get rid of that, and bring this back. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay. Um... All right, uh, that should be everything. Um, auxiliary engines, yeah, too too heavy. Greenox two. Uh, like a super veteran crew, please. Range doesn't matter in this type of engagement. I'm not going to be able to get anything on this ship. I can ignore this. <laughs> it says, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get anything on this ship. See, so yeah, a 12, 12,500 ton ship, I, I would be looking more at... A 10 inch guns is a bit of a stretch. Am I even going to get that rear one in? Mind you, how, how heavy is it? Hmm. I mean, I can can fiddle with them. I can make them 10.9 inch super guns and take one off. I think that's maybe a better way around of doing it. Um, because I'm mainly going to be firing forwards. So 
see if we can get a... Oh yeah, I've got an halfway offset. Silly off me. Go something more like that. Uh, still, I'm up against a battleship though. And it's just going to absolutely destroy me. That that speed is is a killer. Um, unless it gets like a 0% chance to hit me, of course. Which is a possibility. <laughs> I'm going to have to go for a super unusual design. Right, let's get the gun sorted. So I definitely want to be able to hit them. I want the punchiest possible AP shells and screw it. Go for capitalistic HE as well. We're going to go standard ratio. Reduce the number of shells, but to make them super heavy. Um... Actually, do I want reduced shells? No, I probably want standard. Armor? I mean, is there any point? <laughs> this thing will probably, this enemy ship will probably spawn in with massive, huge 20 inch guns or something and completely obliterate me in an instant. So these are going to be armoured more like a destroyer. Oh, that's 15. That's not quite what I meant. Um, it's a 10 inch main belt. 12 on the turret face. Might maybe give me a little bit of protection, but not much. Uh, it'd be nice to bring the all or nothing, but it's going to put me way overweight. So just run with no citadel scheme whatsoever. Um, no anti-flash, no nothing. And just rely on speed is very risky. Standard crew quarter so I don't lose effectiveness. And that is me pretty much there. I don't think these are going to work. <laughs> I re really, really don't think these are going to work. But given the rolls I got, I think this is my best hope. Albeit a forlorn one. Right. Let's get into it. And let's see what monster the AI builds up builds for me. Catch, charge. I did some damage. It's a small salve to my ego. <laughs> oh wow, penetrating hit. Ooh, it's an interesting battleship design. The French, uh, the, the French have gone with, yeah. It's the Japanese, but it looks French. Some sort of Franco-Japanese collaboration with 15.7 inch guns. Okay. We are doing a surprising amount of damage. I mean, they are firing, so they obviously don't have a 0% chance to hit or anything. But we do have a 100% chance to hit, which 
is pretty nice. Hitting right at him. Keep flinging shells. I like getting overpens of all things. Alright, now I can have a look at his. Oh no, not quite. I thought I was going to get a look at the armor scheme, but of course we're closing in so fast. Yeah, I think hmm. some are going through the armor, some are not. But uh, they're doing better than I thought. Of course, 10 inch shells aren't doing a huge amount of damage. But they're not doing nothing. Now, I don't actually remember what the uh, requirement was for this. Fastest to sink the enemy. Right. Fastest, eh? Ramming speed, gentlemen. phasing through. That's not quite what I expected. Actually, Gibraltar is surprisingly not that damaged. I wasn't expecting it to face the Owari. Oh yeah, she has terrible armour. Definitely try and chip her down. What is a bulk kit situation like? Standard. Rammer again. Come on, Blake. Shame I can't launch boarding parties. Yeah, just going through them. It's not right. Still, those rams are doing pretty sizable amounts of damage, actually. The unique phasing ability. <laughs> Come mind so. Get him right midships. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's another good round of damage. Uh, Gibraltar missing. Couple of engines out and flooding. These things are insanely fast. Of course it means they're having trouble firing on the target because they are moving so fast. Let's see if we can get him twice.
bang. <laughs> All engines down. Uh, Gibraltar missing her her shot. Speed up again. This is where the old torpedo would have been helpful. <laughs> Not a huge fan of torpedoes, but would have helped a little bit. Let's see if I can get Forlorn Hope to come like right down the length of the ship. That's it. Time not phasing through. Good bit of damage though. Blake is the next one that's set up for a run. She looks like she has runner damage. She's going to miss. She's already got her rudder way over. All right, come on, Gibraltar. I think you're the next one to get a shot. And yes, I know it's doing more damage to me uh, than it is to them, but <laughs> the aim is just to sink them. Yeah, Blake completely out of control. Come on, give me some flooding right in that midsection. That's promising. Sunk at 9.40.03. Uh, I don't recommend doing that. But uh, there you go. That's how you take out a... <laughs> that's how you take out a Japanese battleship. Just ram it over and over and over again. <laughs> Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.